Well, hello, and welcome back to another exciting edition of Coffee with Stephen. Um, so this week's blog is entitled The Tyrant of Hawaii. There is a new state senator in Hawaii named Senator uh, Stanley Chang. Dr. Chang, I am hoping there is no relation to you. Um, anyways, Stanley Chang has introduced a resolution to essentially petition the U.S. House of Representatives to introduce a resolution to either amend or completely rescind the Second Amendment to the Constitution. Um, and I read the resolution, and actually I've linked it in the blog, um, and I do actually encourage you to read it. It's interesting, and in it he basically acknowledges the way the jurisprudence in the Second Amendment has gone. And he essentially says that the U.S. Supreme Court has defined the Second Amendment as being an individual right for somebody to keep and bear arms. Now, about 50 years ago, there became what's called the collectivist rights theory, essentially stating that if you wanted to possess a firearm, it wasn't a, an individual right conferred by or codified by the Second Amendment, Rather, it was a state's right to have a National Guard. And if you wanted to keep and bear arms, you had to be part of a National Guard. Um, Justice Scalia, in the case of Heller versus the District of Columbia, uh, basically uh, abrogated that entire line of thought. He said that is absolutely untrue. It doesn't match an understanding of the historical record associated with the Second Amendment. And we are relegating that theory to the ash bin of history. Okay. Well, Stanley Chang is essentially trying to resurrect it again, saying that, look, you know, <clears throat> if we can make it a collective right, then we can regulate that right. And in fact, in his um, proposal, for lack of a better term, he acknowledges the fact that because it is an individual right, states really can't regulate the right or prevent individuals from owning guns. And we we applaud him for actually recognizing it. As I mentioned in the blog, states like California, the legislature just essentially ignores it completely and does whatever they want to do, whether it's constitutional or not. In any event, um, I looked at that and I said, you know, maybe, maybe State Senator Chang's proposal just doesn't go far enough. He, he argues in it that because there is this, you know, thing that he calls gun violence, which is apparently an epidemic thing, um, we need to be able to regulate it, and this Constitution just simply keeps on getting in the way. So we're going to have to modify the Constitution to allow us to regulate this harm that is, you know, brought down upon the population. Well, there's other harms that are out there that are protected by the Constitution. Um, the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution creates unbelievable levels of harm. When law enforcement improperly engages in a search and a seizure, all the evidence that they acquire typically is suppressed. And as a result of that, oftentimes very, very bad people end up going free and they subsequently victimize other people. So to protect those other people from being victimized, if we simply eliminated or, you know, or modified dramatically the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution, we wouldn't have this issue. And I think that's something that needs to be taken off. In addition to that, free speech and freedom of religion, I mean, my gosh, when you look at the amount of human suffering that has been a direct result of freedom of speech and the inappropriate use of religion as a means of victimizing other people, well, certainly the state has to have control over that. And Cosmo, I throw one in for you. The fact that we can't quarter soldiers in people's homes pursuant to the Third Amendment means that the state can't actually have an agent of the state inside of people's homes because we know that people left to their own devices invariably are going to engage in conspiratorial actions to bring down the powers of the state that are regulating their lives. So the, really the most efficient way of prohibiting that from happening is to simply say that from this point forward, law enforcement and military personnel are going to be housed in people's homes and they are going to be duty bound to report to their masters what types of conversations are taking place in those homes. This seems only reasonable based on Senator Chang's ideas. Um, in any event, I encourage you to read the blog. 
If you have any questions or comments or you want to completely disagree with me, which is always acceptable, um, you can email me at stephen at artemishq.com. Uh, for those of you who uh, wrote back to me last week, thank you very much. And as always, train constantly, train consistently, train repetitively, and train with purpose. Until next week, thank you for having coffee with me again.